As you can see, that prank was an epic fail because my girl Carol, she was laughing. <laughs> Babe, how you feel about getting pranked today? How did you feel? Annoyed. Why? Yo, you really try to argue with me. Like, why are you kicking her out? Because <laughs> she be wild for no reason. I do not be wilding for no reason, Josh. <laughs> but... Now that this prank was an epic fail, continue watching the rest of the vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Melina Lynn. You guys with me getting ready for my work Christmas party that I have to go to. So I went to Target. I already got my dress. I bought it from Sheen. Um, but I went to Target to get a couple of things. I need shoes and I ended up getting a really cute jacket and i wanted to show you guys real quick how it looks this is what the coat looks like it's 
so pretty it's like double-sided so it has like the brown color and black so far and i paid 70 dollars for this coat i also got this clutch here so it opens like that and it's from the brand a new day i bought it from target and this was literally only eight bucks i also got these shoes regular classic black heel and it's also from the brand new day and i got them from tarjay i paid 30 bucks for these i i got the ones without a tag they had to scan another pair but these were like 30 dollars. and this is the dress that i got from sheen it ruffles like on the sides it's long sleeve so cute it's really tight fits perfect i love it the process of getting ready i couldn't even record myself getting ready i ended up having no time to film while getting ready and i don't have a long mirror to show you guys my outfit but i hate my hair it keeps frizzing this is what my dress looks like cute 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 i gotta go it's so dark out here but i wish you guys can see my fit and my earrings their butterflies are so cute day i'm sick if y'all can hear it in my voice very sick but i'm cooking dinner this is water with chicken broth um a little bit of salt this is gonna be for my noodles i'm making my homemade um alfredo fettuccine chicken alfredo fettuccine whatever this is the water i'm use to boil my noodles in it and then I'm currently cooking my chicken. I'm Spanish. I'm Spanish, so I don't you just use salt and pepper for my chicken when I'm making chicken alfredo. I season it like right for chicken. And I have Asiago cheese in here. I have um, also Parmesan cheese. And then I have this mozzarella. We had, because I made this yesterday this yesterday so i have i'm just using leftover cheese because my husband wanted it again because he loved it so much so i'm just using everything that i had left over to make it again for him um wow my face is so dry so terrible but this is what the chicken's looking like i'm gonna flip everything it's like i was saying i made this yesterday so I have everything already pre-shredded. Um, and then I'm using fettuccine noodles. This is what I use. I wish I could make them homemade, but I don't have the tools for that. I shout out to my friend Alice Day. She gave me one of her pre-lit trees that she had. So we actually are having a tree this year. I know we said we weren't, but we decided to have one because she said she was going to give us one. I still gotta fluff it out so that's why it looks like this and I still have to go buy balls and stuff for the tree I'm thinking of putting candy canes on there maybe I should do that right now because I have a whole bunch of candy canes look at all these candy canes I have y'all so I might as well just stick some around I still need to do some fluffing on the tree but the tree just looks so plain so I'm gonna just put this right now and so I can go I'm gonna go get my stuff from Dollar Tree because I, I mean this tree is kind of last minute it's already December 6th or something. I don't know what. I'm already lost. But I'm going to just go to Dollar Tree this year. Next year I'll do something a little better. And just get a couple of stuff. Look, it's starting to look a little better. So now it just looks like a full candy cane tree. <clears throat> My husband's going to go look for the candy canes in the bucket and see that it's all over the tree now. <laughs> but 
I mean, it looks kind of better because of the candy canes. It doesn't look so plain. But I'll, I'm going to see if I can go Sunday and get some more stuff for the tree. So I closed it a little bit more. And I'm letting all the juices come in. So that way I can use a little bit. Not all of it. I'm going to drain it a little bit. But I'm going to use some of it for the um, Alfredo sauce. To give it more flavor. Let me lower the fire. But I just added the pasta noodles into the pan. I promise you when you make noodles. Add some chicken bouillon to the pot. It gives your noodles extra flavor. Especially if you're making chicken alfredo. It gives it that chicken flavor. It tastes so good. I don't know. If you don't know what chicken bouillon is, this is what it is. It looks just like this. You can find it in the Goya section in Walmart. Yeah, they have it everywhere. Shop right and everything. They have, they have it in different forms. I removed my chicken, y'all. I'm going to put it to the side for now. And I'm going to... I'm going to drain some of this, but we're going to keep most, not all of it, but we're going to keep some of it for the flavor for the Alfredo. Basically, you're going to have little to none left, and you're going to add a half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter. And let me get my flour. So once you got it, melt it down. Add little by little some flour and mix it in. So like a little bit of flour. But mix it in. You're going to make the roux. Basically. And once you have like this kind of consistency, you want to add your heavy cream. You want to mix it. I like to put mine people mix it until it gets thick, but if you put the fire up, it gets thick faster. So once you see it bubbling, the heavy whipping cream, then you start adding your cheese little by little. I'm sorry, I'm not a person who measures. I just cook with love. So, um, yeah. Um, but during the beginning process, you should have your fire very like at a low point. And then once you cover, you put the fire up. So that way it can boil a little bit. Once it starts boiling, you start adding your cheeses and your seasonings. See, when you see this boiling, then you start adding the cheese. Make sure you lower the fire, though, and then you start adding your cheeses. So I'm going to start adding my cheese little by little. And, and mix it in at the same time. You, when you're mixing, you know when your cheese is melting. So let me finish this process and then I'll come back when I start seasoning. My husband's draining the noodles for me. So I'm adding parsley. I don't know what happened, but my phone wasn't recording while I put the seasoning. But I put this on for a little bit of color. Garlic pepper, onion pepper. I put parsley. I also put um let me show you guys. I also put this sauce on in there too. It's very flavorful. And so I use have no MSG, so it's really good. I'm putting the chicken. Then I'm adding the sauce all over. Dang. Look at that. This is how it came out. This is how your pasta should look. Yummy. All right, guys. I'm going to end the video here. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments or to message me on Instagram if you try my recipe. Have a good day. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye.